In this video, we're going to be looking at hydration of aldehydes and ketones. Now, hydration simply means we're going to be adding water to aldehydes and ketones. Okay, so in our previous video, we look at um, a nucleophilic addition reaction. We look at some introductory things we need to take note of when we are talking about reactions of aldehydes and ketone. Now, there are lots of reactions that are that pertain to aldehydes and ketone or carbonyls. But today we are looking at nucleophilic addition and specifically hydration to form um, germinal diols. Germinal diols. There are other reactions like, um, I mean, when we are talking about nucleophilic addition reaction, we have reactions like um, that of alcohol, reaction of aldehydes with alcohol to form ketals and acetals. And then we also have addition of um, hydrogen cyanide to form cyanohydrons. But today, let's look at the formation of terminal diols. Now, what is gem diol or terminal diol means is that at the end of our reaction, we're going to be having a carbon, which is going to be having two hydrogen groups attached to it, or two alcohol groups attached to it. So, let's say we'll be having something like this, something like... Um, we have a R bonded to an, um, a carbon. We have another R. And we have an OH group here and another OH group here. And if we have something like this, then we're going to be calling it gem diol or germinal diol. Now, this germinal diol, they are unstable hydrates. They are not really stable. They are not really stable. And um, some things we have to take note of is that water. Water usually act rapidly across um, uh, the carbonyl group of aldehydes and ketones. Aldehydes and ketones. And then one thing too we have to take note of is that hydrogen, that is hydrogen and hydroxide ion adding across the carbonyl pi bond. The carbonyl pi bond. Usually this reaction takes place. This reaction takes place under two main conditions. We have the basic medium as the first one. So let's put that here, basic medium. And we also have the acidic medium. All right, so the first one we're going to look at is the basic medium. We're going to look at the basic medium. What this means is that we are going to have the nu nucleophile which is going to be attacking the carbonyl carbon. The main attacking nucleophile over here is the hydroxide anion. Hydroxide anion. And so let's put our carbonyl compound here. We have R bonded to carbon, another R doubly bonded to oxygen. Remember, oxygen has two lone pairs. Then we have uh, attacking nucleophile, which is OH minus this oxygen with three lone pairs, that is six electrons. So we are going to have our nucleophile coming straight to this partially positive carbon. And what is going to happen is one of these bonds, which is a pi bond, will break and throwing its pair of electrons to the oxygen. And so the result of this is that we're going to be having we're going to be having our R group on it to carbon and our R group. By this time, we will also have hydrogen group attached to the carbon. So we have hydrogen group attached to the carbon, and then our oxygen here with a negative charge. That means it has. Um, three lone pairs on its three lone pairs. Alright. Now the second and final thing I'll take place under this basic medium. Our basic medium is the protonation of the alkoxide. Protonation of the alkoxide. So this is what will happen. Remember we have an alkoxide with a hydrogen attached to the carbon. So we have our R which is bonded to the carbon. And over here, we are going to do the protonation using um, water. Using water. So we have uh, water here, hydrogen, and 
hydrogen and so this negative charge on the oxygen will attack this will attack this hydrogen and then the hydrogen will throw its electron to the oxygen and so the result is what we are looking for we have a we'll get our gem diol gem diol and then we also have a catalyst over here which is our hydroxide ion so basically these are the steps involved we are doing hydration of aldehyde or ketone under the basic condition it is pretty simple much simple much simpler compared to the acidic medium so now let's look at the acid condition now over here the first thing that will happen is the protonation of the carbonyl oxygen protonation of the carbonyl oxygen and remember we are using an acid so in this case we're going to be using is 3 plus and so we have a carbonyl compound we have a carbonyl compound with its lump over here and our is 3 O plus our is 3 O plus and then this oxygen has a positive charge on it and so it it actually looks for somebody to relieve him of one of the hydrogen. So this oxygen is going to do that. Pick this hydrogen, and then this guy is going to have a pair of electron, and the result is going to be this carbonyl. But our oxygen have any hydrogen on it and as a result it's going to have one lump uh, with a positive charge on it and then our side product which is water is 2O okay so now what is going to happen what happened is that our oxygen over here is um it's an electron loving guy and it's not really comfortable with this positive charge on it so what will happen is the water which we have here is not going to be it's not going to be stable it is going to act as a nucleophile and um, bang is going to attack it's going to attack the electrophilic carbon and then put our hydrogen group there and relieve this oxygen of the pressure of the positive charge all right so now let's look at what is happening over there we have our we have a carbonyl compound. Um, oops. We have a compound. This oxygen with a hydrogen. One lump with a positive charge. And then the savior, the water. What is lumpers? will come all the way down here attack this carbon and this carbon will leave its electrons to the oxygen so our result is going to be this we'll have a very bulky substance here And then we have a water hanging somewhere with one pair of electron on the oxygen. And then we have our hydrogen group here, our alcohol group here, with two lumpers on the oxygen. All right, how to happen then? Um, I think we'll have to get rid of one of the hydrogens over here. One of the hydrogens which means we have to um, deprotonate this oxonium ion so that we can neutralize the charge and then 
we will have our desired product. So this sort of happen. Let's put our oxonium ion there. positive charge on the oxygen because it's triply bonded and our, our water will come this way and then the water again with all its zone pairs will come with one of the zone pairs picking a hydrogen here a proton and this will result in our desired product which is our gem diol in gem diol so we have a alcohol group here and another alcohol group here and our side product which is sort of water all right so basically this is how we we form gem diol or germinal diols through the basic and acidic medium as um, part of the reactions, nucleophilic addition reactions of um, aldehydes and ketones. Now, watch out for our next videos so when we look at more examples of reactions of aldehydes and ketones. And uh, don't forget to like this video and also hit the subscribe button so that I can get notification anytime we upload new videos. Thank you.